here's a question that I get all the time. I have screwed up my Edge TX radio, and I would like to just factory reset it and start from scratch. That's what we're going to do in this video. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. The key piece of information that makes what we do in this video possible is that at least with newer versions of Edge TX, I'm not sure exactly which version this change happened, all of the radio's data is stored here on the SD card. If you have some of the even newer radios, there isn't an SD card, there's just internal storage, an internal flash chip. But basically, the radio stores all of its configuration information on that SD card or that flash chip. And this is significant because it used to be that the radio had internal storage called EEPROM and it had the SD card. And some of the radio's data was stored on the SD card and some of it was stored in the EEPROM. And if those things got out of sync or if you reset one but not the other, you could end up in a bad situation. But this actually makes resetting our radio incredibly simple. On radios like the Boxer, there is one USB port on top for data and there is another USB port on bottom for charging. We need the data port. On newer radios like the GX12 and the T15, there is a single port and it is both for data and charging. The way you'll know you did it right is that when you plug in USB, you'll get this message, select mode. And the USB mode that we want to select is USB storage. When we do that, a new USB drive will pop up on our computer and its contents will look something like this. Backup, EEPROM, firmware, logs, etc., etc., etc. This is the standard Edge TX SD card contents. Sometimes a second drive will pop up named firmware, and I think it, I think sometimes Edge TX shows that to you on, on newer versions, it doesn't. And the reason it doesn't show that to you is that you should never mess with that. So if you get an SD card with like firmware.bin in it or anything like that, don't mess with that. You want this. This is your SD card contents. By the way, you could also just take the SD card out of the radio and put it into an SD card reader, but that's easier to do on some radios and harder to do on others. What we want to do is we just want to get rid of all of this. Yep, all of it. That's how we're going to wipe the radio, and then we're going to put it back to factory fresh. Bye-bye. Oh, before you bye-bye, if you want, you could copy this to a folder on your computer, and then you'd have a backup of your radio just in case something went wrong. But the premise of this video is that you screwed your radio up and you want to get rid of this stuff. Here we go, delete. Now that that's gone, how do we get the factory contents back? And the answer is Edge TX Buddy. This website, buddy.edgetx.org, is how you flash your radio. And hey, as long as you're there, you may want to flash your radio to the newest version. But setting that aside, it's also how you update your SD card contents. Now. We're not going to flash the radio. If you want to know instructions about how to flash the radio, you can go watch my Edge TX flashing guide. I'll put a link in the video description below. Come to think of it, that guide also covers how to update your SD card contents, but it assumes you're trying to like preserve your existing SD card contents instead of starting from scratch. So I won't refer you to that video and just end this video here. We'll go ahead and update our SD card contents. I do want to point out though, you need to know what version of Edge TX you're on. Here I am, I've just updated to the latest 2.11.3. Uh, if you're not sure, well, I just unplugged USB because I wanted to check my firmware version and the radio yelled at me missing or bad radio data, press any key. I wonder if it'll just write default contents for me. No. Is it even simpler than I thought? No. So there's a lot of stuff missing from here. I've got a basic models fo folder with a basic model and I've got a basic radio folder. These are the radio settings, but there's a whole bunch of stuff missing like my sounds. If you have a color screen radio, your themes aren't there. So we still do need to go ahead and use HDX Buddy, but it is interesting that at the very least we can get back to a basically functional radio, if not a fully functional one. Here's how you find your HDX version. You are gonna press the sys key, unplug USB first. You're gonna press the sys key and you're gonna page to version, and here you can see Edge TX version 2.11.3. So now we'll plug USB back in, we'll go back to USB storage, and we'll go to the SD card content uh, part of Edge TX Buddy. Here is my SD card, we'll power on the device, we'll on the device, we'll select SD card, that is going to be USB drive K, there we go, select folder, allow, allow this site to view, blah blah blah, yes, save changes, 
Notice that HTX can't detect the current version because we wiped out the SD card contents. We're just going to select the correct version, 2.11.3. We're going to select our radio model, which is the Boxer. And if we want to, we can select a sound file. Ooh, GLaDOS. Heck yeah. I'll always accept the... Oh, you Joshua Bardwell. Wow. GLaDOS or Joshua Bardwell? Who do I like better? GLaDOS, clearly. <laughs> and we're going to apply the changes. Now, this will take a minute. This kind of takes a little bit of time to write, especially the sounds folder has a bunch of very small files and takes a while to do. So, where to go? I can't have finished that fast. Reinstall. Oh, there we go. Reinstall, right? I don't think it could possibly have downloaded all the files that fast. If it did, that's I'm impressed. It usually takes longer than that. What's the difference between apply changes and reinstall? No, there you go. Unpacking assets to SD card. It must have done it. Well, we'll know in a minute. No, see, now it's going slower. I think you got to hit reinstall. Apply changes. Maybe apply changes just like, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. I'm not even going to guess. I think if you're starting from scratch, you need to reinstall. I think, here's what I think. Apply changes. I bet it just like updated the stuff that was already on there without rewriting all of it. And what we want is to rewrite all of it. So we hit reinstall and clearly that's doing more than it did. So clearly that's the right thing. I'm just making this up as I go. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I think we finished. Let's uh, unplug the radio. Oh, and oh, no, actually, we should just be able to look at the SD card. That's the smart way to do it. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of new stuff here. Sounds and logs, models, radio. Yeah, yeah well, that looks like complete SD card contents. Boom. My radio should be back absolutely factory stock fresh. I don't know how to verify to you that it's factory stock fresh. You kind of just have to take my word for it. But it is. We got the model model locator. Weird. Wizard loader. We don't have... Oh, gosh. How do we not have the Express LRS Lua script? How is the Express LRS Lua script not already included? Huh. Is there an SD card image? Yeah. So, okay. So, Radio Master here. Firmware for radios about SD card contents. Boxer, factory SD card contents and firmware. Okay, so I bet if we go here and we get the Radio Master SD card contents, it will actually have all the stuff that it came with from the factory instead of the standard HDX stuff, which doesn't even include the ExpressLRS Lewis script, which is kind of a big deal if you have an ExpressLRS radio. So here's an alternate way, which is that you go and you get the Radio Master uh, repo. I'll put this page in the video description below if you need to get it. Um, let's see here. HTX Boxer, yada, yada, yada. Restore default settings. Models radio. Okay. So that's clever. So here, here are the default settings from Radio Master. You would delete the SD card and you would copy just these two folders. And if we go to SD content, yes, here is the standard SD card contents for Radio Master. So easy peasy. Okay. And I don't want to change the sounds file because that's my, that's my GLaDOS sounds. The main thing that I'm missing here is scripts, which is where the Express LRS Lua script is, as well as all the fancy video game scripts that came with this uh, asteroids and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the scripts folder. We're going to copy it over. In fact, let me delete the scripts folder off my radio and let me replace it with the Radio Master scripts folder. And that should put everything back the way I need it to be. You could also just download the ExpressLRS Lua script manually. But as you'll see, there are a couple other scripts that I want that came with this radio from the factory. There we go. Yes. Yeah. So here in the tools menu now, I've got the Express LRS Lua script, which is the, you want that, but also I've got all these games that came with the radio. Yeah. Like, Extras. like Tetris. Oh God, this sucks. Wow. Oh, wow. It's so fast. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. That went quickly. Well, now you know how to reset your radio to defaults. Just delete everything off the SD card 
and then restore the SD card contents using one of the methods that I showed you in this video. Hey, you want to learn more about Express uh, Edge CX? I've got a whole playlist of videos all about Edge CX, the operating system that runs on these radios. Look at all these menus. Do you know what all this stuff is? I do, and I, I, I put it in a video. So there's a link to that playlist and a card on screen, or if you can't see cards for some reason, it's linked in the video description below. Go check it out.